Hello everyone and welcome back to NR. I'm recording this in January. So it's actually I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Happy 2024 essentially is what I'm getting at. We got TJ Louder on the poll here. Two is outside Jake Scarborough. Alvin Tompkins in third. Jack C. Crest fourth. I don't even remember. It's been a while since I've done this. I think the last time I've done this was like back in November. Um, yeah, Dylan Thomas in uh, fifth. Wilson Hunt sixth. Seventh goes to Jonathan Jurgensmeyer. Eighth to Dylan Thacker. Ninth to Gavin York. And tenth to. Who's in the 16? I don't know for Gore. Uh, James Fitzpatrick. So uh, here we go. Coming to the green. Green flag is out here at Michigan. For the Pure Michigan 250. Down into turn numero uno. TJ Louder gets the jump out front, but Alvin Tompkins is going to be right on his bumper outside of turn number two. Alvin Tompkins looking to the inside now. We'll see if he can make a good move down this back straightaway to the inside. Inside line surging. Louder has no help on his backside. And now it's teammates out front one, two. But Dylan Thomas is going to look to the inside of his teammate as Alvin Tompkins pulls to the high line. And it is going to be Alvin Tompkins. No, sorry. It was Dylan Thomas who led that lap, actually. My mistake. Um, I forgot. Don't we have a... There it is. We have a ticker. We do have a ticker. I don't have to... Don't have to worry about not having one. I forgot I installed it. Like I said, it's been a while. Been a while since I've messed with this, so. But they are three by three up front. F almost four wide now for the lead as they come off turn number four. They are four wide. Who is going to lead this lap? Down to the stripe. I think the 20 of Logan Crib got it. Oh, let's move the ticker up. Indeed, it was by a, a hundredth of a second. They're going to go almost five wide now. There's contact on that outside lane. Dylan Thomas in the 31 of Oak Trouble. The wrecking. Big problems on the backstretch. TJ Louder involved. Jake Scarborough might be in it. There's a few more. Oh, Lorenzo. Oh, my goodness. Alvin Tompkins upside down. Lorenzo Vallejos involved. That's Jackson Kohler. The 31 of Jake and Sensing involved. The 28. That's Justin Benegas. Unbelievable stuff to start this race. A huge crash. We're only on lap three. Let's go. Let's go with the five. See how he got upside down there. Although I'm pretty sure we all saw it. He was right there behind. Oh, behind them. The 32 of Will Sensing triggered a crash, I believe, with Dylan Thacker right there. So. They were involved. Obviously, Dylan Thomas got pinched into the wall and multiple. Oh, yeah, Dylan Thacker got a hard hit right there. We didn't even see that originally. Um, and he lands. Uh, uh, Alvin Tompkins lands back on his uh, wheels. Uh, let's go to Dylan Thacker here and see what happened from uh, him. He is destroyed. Uh, so that's unfortunate. All right, here we go. Yeah, it looks like something. I don't know what caused it. We'll have to go back and look at that. But Will Sensing shot. Oh, who's that? The three? I don't remember who that is. Uh, the three of Landon Spivey shot up into the 32 of Will Sensing. Hits the 45 of Dylan Thacker. And they both wreck into the wall as well behind the main crash. Or what What we saw first. Like, yeah, you see it right there. And then uh, I think Will Sensing is sideways and all of that. But you really can't tell. He's, in, he's at the back of all that smoke. Yeah, he's getting hit around. Uh, that, that's how Justin Benegas got involved. Oh, and the 8 of Brett Myers gets involved as well. Um, didn't even see him be involved at first. Had no clue. Uh, I think... Let's see, I think the 88 of uh, Devin Garner was involved as well. I couldn't tell, though. Um... Oh, man, Lorenzo Vallejos almost had it missed, and Thacker was going to come out but come out of it all right, but didn't. They managed to. Oh, and uh, Klein Jarrett, I believe, was involved as well. I believe that's who's in the 13 at least. Um, yeah, Klein Jarrett. He comes. He gets involved as well. Uh, the 32. Oh, big checkup here. 
Almost another wreck. I don't believe there was any more carnage on the front stretch coming back to it. I think they managed, but a lot of these early leaders involved in a wreck here. As Logan Creeb, uh, Creeb? Crib leads at lap four. As we'll, uh, we'll just skip to the green. No reason to wait, right? Coming to the green flag here. Save as much time as possible in this. Green flag back out in the air on lap numero eight. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ocho. I think. I don't remember. It's been a while since I took Spanish. Not really. I'm in it right now. Um, Crib gets a good jump. Right behind him is the one of Taylor Gerald. I believe. I don't want to be wrong about this. I'm probably getting them wrong. Nope, that's Taylor Gerald. He's going to look to the inside heading into turn number three. I'm going to get the run down in the corner. I hope you guys can't hear my chair too much, by the way. It's pretty freaking loud. Um... Let's talk about things outside of this race going on right now, because you guys can see. I don't really need to explain everything, I feel like. Going to Daytona here in a few weeks, so. Should be fun. Never been. Hoping to see my boy Ross Chastain do good. I'm going to get some new Bush Beer merchandise, that's for sure. Um, got a few other things I want to do while I'm down there, but, uh... First and foremost, I gotta be able to get work off. That's uh, still a little worried because you already have the tickets, but I think we'll be all right. Speaking of me, uh, off of turn four, it looks like I'm going to lead this lap. I do. Uh, Wilson Hunt out front right now. As they go four wide once again into turn one, at least it looks like it's gonna be four wide. Jonathan Dur. Oh, they're gonna wreck again. I am surprised they did not get that any closer to piling it up off of turn two there as they were four wide almost five wide and they're still going to be that way going into turn three don't typically see a lot of wrecks down in turn three or at least on this side of the racetrack but it's getting tight right now oh that 24 is wobbling everywhere in the middle pack there this is like plate racing on crack and jonathan jurgensmeyer i believe led that lap. let's get out of focus of me we don't care about me here comes that 38 Hey, remember, oh, Mill and Hunt in the seven. Um, he is retiring at the end of the season. It's only his first season, but only wanted only wanted to take one. So each to their own. Probably because he passed away, but that's besides the point. Anyways, <clears throat> rest in peace. For those who don't know, that was my grandfather. Oh boy, they're getting all they're getting all squirrely again off of turn two. I do not know how they have not wrecked. Uh, the 19 there got super super squirrely off of turn two, and they're still four wide in many parts of this pack. Um, the 19, I can't think of his name right now off the top of my head. That is uh, Chase Hin Chase Henson. Hanson, Hanson, not Henson. What am I talking about? As the 21 of uh, Austin Everhart. Oh, shit. I did a D man. Uh, oh, Harvey Hunt and Milton Hunt and Austin Everhart get together, but they're still good. They're still good as of right now or not. Austin Everhart's in the wall. They keep it relatively all right down the back straightaway. I think they'll be fine. Oh, Jake Scarborough almost cleared himself in that 24 right there. But it is four wide for the lead once again. Who is going to lead this lap? Jake Scarborough got it. The 99 of Jaden Yokely now to the bottom of the track trying to take the lead away. This outside line. Oh, that middle of the pack. It's making me so nervous because they're so bunched up yet again. Three wide off the corner. Still four wide now down this back straightaway. Here comes a 52 of Jonathan Powers, who we haven't seen much of since the beginning of the season. He's going to send it four wide into turn three. They might be five wide. Oh, my goodness. Jake Scarborough is right there against the outside wall. They're five wide for, like, third. This is intense to the line. Powers is going to lead this lap. I don't think they make it five wide into turn one. There's no way they exit turn one after going five wide into this corner. 
They're good as of right now. Yokely slides up. They're still all right. They're making it work. They made it. Oh, or did they? The double zero and the 16 are still together. Can they get a par head into turn three? Oh, they're five wide into turn three. There's contact. Can they make it work? It's still good. No, it's not. Brandon Wilson up in the air. Oh, man. Jaden Yokely's in it. Harvey Hunt's in it. Jake Scarborough was in it. A wreck. Off turn four. Brandon Wilson took the hardest hit there. Uh, but for as aggressive as they were, I don't really think that many people were involved. I mean, you see right... Uh, I'll show the full replay before we do a slowed down version. You get it right there. Boom. Hard hit for Brandon Wilson. Scarborough involved. Landon Spivey looks like he was involved. Oh, the 12. I can't remember who that is off the top of my head. Damn it. <laughs> Um, we'll check here real quick. Uh, I believe that's Josh Woodrow. Yeah, Josh Woodrow. Um. Yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll take a slow look at this. Um. So Brandon Wilson gets turned. Oh, the 39, I think. I can't remember who that is off the top of my head either. Uh, he was involved, so we need to we need to we need to check who these people are because it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, oh, Braid Nescavel. So Braid Nescavel was involved. Um, he's in it. They got really close. I all right. Let's see who else piled in. May have got some minor damage. It's obvious to me that Jake Scarborough's involved in this, so he's gonna have some damage. Uh, pretty bad, honestly. And then Harvey Hunt. I think Landon Spivey got some, but I think outside of that. They're probably okay. I'm going to say those guys behind it are probably okay. Not going to have to worry about much damage. Brandon Wilson's done for. Um, not much else to say about that. Out front right now is Trevor Marsh. Crazy turn of events. I didn't even see how he took the lead. Um, I need to go back, I guess, to look and make sure no nothing else happened off of four. Uh, or I guess that wouldn't have mattered because, yeah. Yeah, so Marsh leads currently. Coming. We're coming. Yeah, we're coming, guys. Coming to green this lap. Let's speed this bad boy up. All right, here we go. Single file restarts in this because it's uh, 2003 rules and there's no way to change that. Someone will figure it out someday, I think. But we'll find out when that happens. Green flag is back out in the air here at Michigan. Intense, intense racing here so far. As we almost get halfway done here. Now they're starting to string it out. Looks like Victor Acosta going to send it to the bottom through. Right here comes Jonathan Powers. He wants that lead back. Two car. I believe that's TJ Carmack. I can't remember. Indeed it is TJ Carmack. And as for the double zero, which I don't even know where the double zero is on the list, that's Victor Acosta. I was right about that one. Jack C. Kretz, I know who's in the 24. I know who's in the 16. I got most of these right. There comes Devin Garner, the 98. That's, um, damn it, Josh Estevez. Wait, 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 is that right? Is that Josh Estevez? Oh, my goodness. I can't remember. It is Joshua Estevez. Now these guys are getting real racy back up to the front. We're going to go three wide for the lead once again. As, um, I'm going to click off of that. Uh, <laughs> four wide. Devin Garner's not going to push his teammate. He wants the lead. He's going to go four wide into turn one willingly. That's pretty crazy. He's going to put all of these Chevys in a bad position here off turn two, but he wants the lead, and he has help from Joshua Estebeo and his teammate, Milton Hunt down the back straightaway. Oh, and for those curious, uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned this. Um, you can have six car teams in this, so it's not just your typical four car teams. You can have up to six cars. A uh, little twist of my own on this. Is there five wide for the lead now? Oh my goodness, as we hit down the front stretch, I don't know who, I think Taylor Gerald led that lap. When the leaderboard resets, it was Taylor Gerald. Oh, Estebeo sliding up. He missed the bottom there. Oh, they're wrecking. Big crash. 
Oh my goodness, Taylor Jones, the big one! The rest of the field's in it! Oh my goodness, Logan Crib with that wreck avoidance right there. That was insane. Joshua Drew involved. I think Harvey Hunt was in it again. We've seen Victor Acosta for sure. Klein Jared looks like it. Uh, James Fitzpatrick was in it. Jonathan Powers, who had a really good car. I believe Jaden Oakley was in it. Oh, we've seen Taylor Jarrow in the wreck. As Milton Hunt leads with Wilson Hunt right behind him. Oh, man. I, the first one I saw go awry was Taylor. I don't know what happened. I don't know if Devin Garner was involved, but he definitely was not the leader coming back here. Oh, Devin Garner got sideways, but he saved it. Look at that save by Devin Garner there. Uh, I know I need to show a replay of the crash, but uh, let's take a look at that save. What caused him to get sideways? Oh, okay. We're gonna have to take it. We're gonna take a look at this from a different angle. Let's see. All right, that's not really a good one. We'll do the we'll do the helicopter view for this. So you're gonna see down here on the bottom, the 98 gets hit by his teammate, and they shoot. It shoots a lot of people on the track, but. A lot of people are also able to get through it. Yeah, we've seen Jack Seacrest get involved. Austin Eberhardt was involved. A lot of people involved in this. Uh, oh, dang. Right there, right there at the end. Um, you see James Fitzpatrick coming through. I don't know how. Oh, he got... Oh! <laughs> Car coming through on the, uh, on the outside there. Uh, way too fast. Uh, panic diesel is a little, uh, a little bit rough. Let's do, the, um, let's do the spectator view. Let's see what the spectators saw. Uh, well, this is not a spectator view. The spectators in well, maybe this angle, but not the not may, maybe this one. I guess is possible, but I don't think so. Yeah, you can just see so many cars involved here. I think Victor Acosta might come out of this relatively okay, though. If um, oh yeah, just the Benegas was flying through there when they got there. Um, what a wreck, though. I mean, dang, this took out the rest of the field. For the most part, I mean, a lot of good cars, Taylor Jarrell. I mean, Taylor Jarrell was literally leading. He was the leader of that last lap before this crash, so. Um, I don't know who we should go on board with, honestly. Um, let's do Jonathan Powers. I think that's a good one because he, he had such a good car. It's unfortunate to see um, him get taken out and something like this. You can see this clippage right there. And then, oh, right there, he just gets turned. Nothing he can do. You can just see the cars continue to wreck. Wow. I think we should go on board from the tail, from the rear end of Devin Garner. I think that'd be a good one. I mean, my man's was dead sideways. Um, and you can see all the cars here. Um, into the corner. Yeah, that's a good angle of what happened. Mm, the 39 and the 2 were involved as well. May, some people may have missed that. They were just clipped, but damage is damage, especially here. Very aero-sensitive track. sensitive track here. Oh, yeah, TJ Louder. We saw him be involved in another wreck, so unfortunate here. Another big crash that brings out a yellow here at Michigan. Is that, you don't want to see all these big crashes. Oh, but we're coming back to the green. A lot of cars out of this race. Uh, I do mean a lot. Let's see. Uh, there's only 30 cars left in it, but a lot of them are also damaged, so... Heck, we can see in this view some of the cars that were involved in Rex, so. Green flag back out in the air, though, as uh, Milton Hunt going to lead him into turn one. Arguably probably one of Milton Hunt's better races of the season so far. And here comes Wilson Hunt, as we're going to be in the final ten laps here shortly. If we make it all the way. We may not. It's very possible we don't go green all the way. That's pretty normal in this series, so. Sliding up in front. Of Milton Hunt family between the top two here, or well, top two of the top three. Cam Ho down on the bottom there, trying to lead a lap. I don't think he got it. It was Hunt by two one hundreds, but he's gonna get split in the middle by some of his family. 
the form of Milton Hunt, and here comes Trevor Marshall on him. We're almost four wide for the lead, but it looks like Tamho is going to be able to clear to the lead here. Everybody drafting back up now. Oh, Milton Hunt with a great move to the inside of Tamho here off of turn four. Here is it going to be at the line. I believe Milton Hunt will be able to get to it first if that outside line doesn't surge, and it doesn't, so... Now we're on lap 30, and I believe, yeah, Milton Hunt was the leader by 1 100th, an insane margin yet again. And these guys up front are still racing as hard as they ever have. We've got some of those people who had slipped back now that are starting to regain and get back up to the front of this field. We've seen Landon Spivey tr uh, trigger our crash earlier. We haven't seen much of him since. Talked about Joshua Estebeo and one of the lap leaders, Logan Cribb, back up there. Denver Garner, we can see him slipping back a little bit. And there's Jonathan Jurgensmeyer. Haven't talked too much about Tam Ho today, but he's up front. Mentioned something about Trevor Marsh earlier. He's still up here. Some of these good, pretty good cars have survived, but the grip's going to start going away. We're going to see who really, really has a good car here and who can hang on to this draft pack now. Uh, we see Gavin York in the back of the shot there for uh, a little bit of time at least. He was uh, he qualified top 10. I haven't seen much of him since. But uh, to be fair, if you've avoided a wreck today, you've done some pretty good job driving. Uh, Jair, uh, Jair Paniagua, he's in that 11 car there. Haven't, we don't see him up front much, but he is uh, right up here battling. In the, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's in the top 10. Uh, in 10th. He was 10th that lap. So uh, Now Joshua Esteveo going back for the lead once again. We were just mentioning him. Uh, he had fallen back a little bit, but now he's up here yet again. And he's going to go for the lead here in turn three. I want to say it in the 38 there is Luis Lopez. Indeed. He is uh, trying to get the lead here. Logan Cribb back up front now. Being pushed by TJ Carmack in there. There's that Gavin York car that we were talking about. He's the third car in the bottom lane now in the 18. Ooh, Lopez may have missed the turn there a little bit. Gonna slide up. Down the back straight away. The 20. Oh, they're getting real racy. Tam Ho tried to get into a gap that may have not been there for a second and got the door shut on him by Milton Hunt there. Um, to the stripe, I believe Logan Kerb got that lap. He did. Not by much, maybe two one hundreds, three one hundreds, and as like, it's been close here, close here in Michigan, we've not seen a lap being led by much at all. As uh, they go through turn two now, coming to six laps to go, these guys are gonna have to put themselves in the right positions to win this race. As Luis Lopez sends it down in the corner. It looks like Joshua Estebeo trying to get to the inside of the twenty can't quite do it. Not enough of a run there off of turn number four. But Logan Cribb gonna manage to hang on in that outside lane and continue to lead this lap. We may have gotten to the point of the race where the outside line is where you wanna be if the inside line doesn't have much pushing help. But if you're in the inside line, you can also push everyone up. But Cribb doing a great job staying there on that outside line, doing what he needs. I think he's gonna be clear into turn three. Nope, looks like the 17 is just to his inside. But as long as he can hold suit right there, which now the 17, and it looks like the 20 got tight, the 17 has quite a bit of help there on the back door. So it looks like Trevor Marsh is going to be able to take the lead this lap and actually probably clear. Is there four wide for third now? Even with not many cars left in this pack, it's more maneuverable than like a Daytona or Talladega where you really require a lot of help to be able to go anywhere. It seems that's, that's pretty obvious here today. It's Joshua Estebeo going to go to the middle now. Finally got out from behind that 20 car. And he will go into turn three now. The way he, I guess the way he wants to in the middle lane. But with the three to the inside, I think it's going to be hard to make much of a move. Now the 20 looking to the inside of that 17. Milton Hunt going to lead it to the line as we have four laps to go here at Michigan. Milton Hunt actually led by a decent margin that time. One of the bigger leads we've seen today. Surprising, I know. Oh man, they're getting they're getting real racy here, and the grip is going away. 
and going away in a hurry. Milton Hunt, though, on the outside. Going to clear yet again, but stays up there. Likes where he is. Oh, he tried to get, tried to shut the door on Estebeo. Estebeo may have gave him a little touch, and now they're going to be four wide for the lead off turn four. Who is it going to be? It's going to come right down to the stripe. I don't even know who led that lap. I'm going to see on the timing and scoring here shortly. Joshua Estebeo, but somewhere in the thousands. As they might go five wide. Oh, there's contact. Oh, no, Estebeo, and oh, that's going to end the race. A big wreck down the back straight away. Let's go back up front, though. Oh, Tam Ho was in it. Devin Garner was in it. Two good cars. Who's it going to be? Out front, it's Wilson Hunt, but his teammate is going to block him. Accidentally, and it's going to be Luis Lopez getting the W. Because we're not going to have enough time to go back green. Oh, man. Hunt is not going to be happy with his teammate there. I don't know if he'd have won that either way, to be honest, but... Luis Lopez is going to grab the W here at Michigan. Unbelievable. They caught lap traffic at a perfect moment for Luis Lopez. And, I mean, if you're Hunt, you have to make the turn down to the bottom here to make sure you uh, get to the start-finish line. And it just cost him so much momentum and then... Uh, Luis Lopez ends up getting the W here, which is so unfortunate if you're Wilson Hunt. I mean, it's your teammate. He's trying to stay up high, but he could have probably went higher and made that finish a little cleaner, but that's your margin of victory. Still a pretty close one. Uh, not as close as some of the previous laps we'd seen. I mean, the lap before, obviously, we've seen be as close as what we did within the thousandth range, but uh, let's take a look at what happened here on turn two. I see. I knew Estevayo was drifting up, but I mean, you can see these cars in there. That was pretty cool. Um, I knew Estevayo was dripping up, dripping, drifting up. He, he lost grip right there, and they're together at this point, and they're just trying to make it off the corner. And obviously, Milton Hunt is not lifting, and they get together right there. I'll show you the full speed replay here real quick. Yeah, turned him into the wall. Trevor Marsh is involved. Such a good car for Trevor, and then Tam Ho is involved. He gets in the wall and spins. I think Gavin York clipped it. Devin Garner was involved somehow, which we should probably go back on board with. Oh, actually, let's wait it out. Because some, some of these cars back here may have piled into some some cars here. I don't know. This always makes me nervous when we see these other guys. What are they doing? Oh, my goodness. I think they're okay. They're just trying to make it back, so I think they'll be all right. Yeah, these guys, um, unfortunately being involved in a wreck on the last lap, they're going to lose a lot of positions. So, even if, um, unless those cars are laps down, but no one here really had a chance to fall a lap down. Uh, I didn't see how Devin Garner got involved. I think he ran. Oh, he got into the back of Gavin York. When Tam Ho spun, so we'll go on board with, uh, Devin here. He was at the back of this pack anyway. He couldn't really see. I mean, you see the smoke happening. You're, just, you're blinded by it. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, he did a good job at avoiding it, and he's just trying to... Oh, I mean, it landed in his lap. Landed in his lap. That is almost a pure definition of that. I mean, that's exactly what it was. I mean, he had done a great job at avoiding this wreck. I mean, let, let's, go, let's go slow motion here, actually. Through the middle, right here, goes down, they're wrecking up high, goes low, they're not going to spin down and hit him, now they're wrecking middle, so he goes high, barely misses his 17, and then the 35 hits the wall and slides back down, and then yeah, him and Gavin York just pile into it, which I mean, I believe he still made it back to the start finish line, so he may not be in too bad a shape, yeah, he didn't lose but like a spot, he, he still, I think he still got a net gain. So maybe not the worst scenario. I think he ended up finishing maybe six, oh, 11. So he didn't even. It weren't even that bad. It could have been way worse. Yeah, I'm imagining he's just gonna stay out and coast this one back. Heck, I think. I think if he's involved in the wreck, uh, Milton Hunt's gonna get a top 10. So it, it could have been worse for those involved, for sure. Um, I asked Abeo, he, He's the one who. I'm gonna say with the big loss here.
He fell outside of the top 20. He fell back to 27th. Wow, okay. So your top 10, unofficially, well, it'll be official here in about a lap, is going to be Luis Lopez, Wilson Hunt, Logan Cribb, I'm about to say Jaden Oakley, but he's a lap down. Logan Cribb, Landon Spivey, TJ Carmack. I should just go backwards with him. Uh, Chase Hansen. I almost said Chris Hansen. Braden Escavel, Jonathan Jorgensmeyer, P8. Jerry Paniagua. Ninth. Good run for them. Hadn't had one in a while. And um, surprisingly, Milton Hunt's going to survive and get a... Uh, a 10th place finish. Uh, oh, well, I was wrong about the 88. Uh, they must have pitted. I don't see them up here. They must be leaking something. Got black light or something like that. Yeah, they fell back. Oh, they're more. Are they more damaged now than what they were? Hold up. Did something happen? Or did they just have to pit? Ah. Couldn't make it all the way around. It happens. Yep. I had to pull down and pit. Couldn't make it all the way back. That's so unfortunate. Would have had an 11th place finish. I don't know where he's going to finish now, so. Go. 26. That's rough. That's so rough. Never want that to happen to anybody. But, um. We'll come around here. I'm going to speed this last lap up. I don't, I don't see a reason why we need to make it last any longer than it needs to. Anyways, here we go. Off turn four here for the final time. Come into the checker. It'll be Luis Lopez. I believe this is his first career win. I could be wrong. I haven't really kept up with stats that well, so that's on me. But nonetheless, Luis Lopez, first career win here at Michigan. I'm going to say it. I don't know if it actually is, but I'm pretty sure... That's his first career win. Again, could be wrong, but I digress. It doesn't matter. <laughs> if it's not, then I'm an idiot. If it is, then I'm not an idiot. That's about it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace out.